hoping that in the future I'll be able to make more videos. My goal is to hit one video a week. One video a week. One video a week. Alright, so I know I said that I was going to get a video out a week, which, by the way, was ambitious. You suck! But I had the most irritating computer building experience of my life. I had it all planned out. I ordered all my parts over Black Friday so I could get the cheapest, you know, the best deals. And I was gonna do this video about building it and putting it all together and it was gonna be great, but that didn't exactly pan out. So here's the thing. I am not that unfamiliar with the process of building a computer. I built my old computer and that worked great. I built other computers and those worked fine. I've helped my friends build their computers. So I'm not new to this, all right? But this time around, so many things went so wrong. My old computer had a bunch of old parts. I was running an i5-2300K. I was running a GTX 560. Both these parts are many years old. And so I knew I had to replace them eventually. The problem with replacing a processor is that you can't just replace the processor anymore. It means that I had to replace all these other components as well. I had to get a new motherboard. I had to get a new CPU, obviously. I needed to get new RAM because I had DDR3 RAM and now people are using DDR4 RAM. And I also needed a new video card. So this is the start of where everything went wrong. So the motherboard that I bought uh, didn't have its own CPU fan, which meant that I had to order my own. And you know, I decided, you know, I'm gonna shell out a little bit, you know, use some of that Riot money. So I decided I was gonna get the most badass motherfucking CPU cooler of all time. Okay, maybe not not all time, but it's it's a big one. It's the H115i from Cooler Master from Corsair. <laughs> and this was my first mistake. The H115i has a huge radiator on it, and I didn't think it was going to be a problem with my old case because my old case is also really big. Yeah, about that. So uh, this is awkward, um, but uh, this doesn't fit in my case. Oh my god. Before we get any further, let me instill just one lesson for all you guys who are going to build their own new computer and all that. Make sure to check under PC Part Picker, one, that's that's the that's the first important lesson. Okay, there, so there's actually two lessons here. There's actually two lessons. One, be sure to check a PC Part Picker and make sure everything is compatible. And two, if your parts are so old that they don't even show up on PC Part Picker, it's probably time that you need new parts anyways. So now that I've completely dismantled my old computer and can't build my new one, I'm just totally stuck. My next step was, well, okay, I'm gonna buy a new case and I'm gonna get it next day delivery. So this is the second part of my feeling of building my computer. I've never, I never send packages to my apartment because um, we get emails a lot about people breaking into the lobby and stealing packages. So I was like, you know, I need this package. I'm just gonna send it to Riot instead. So Riot, on the other hand, has a dedicated mailroom just for its employees. So I was like, okay, you know what? Going to Riot, that's gonna be fine. So I remember going into work the next day and, you know, excited to pick up my brand new computer case. But instead, I am greeted with an email saying how, because of the time of year, because it's after Black Friday, uh, the mailroom is super behind in getting all the packages to people. So I'm thinking, oh God. What am I gonna do if it doesn't come today? On the shipping tracker for my computer case, I find out that my package has already been delivered. But the thing with Riot is that uh, they send you an email once they're ready to have you pick the package up. And usually there's no problem. <sighs> but I waited and I waited and I still didn't get an email. And I figured, you know, one day delay, not too bad. It's okay, I can live without my computer for a day. Well, it's uh, day one of having no computer, you know, uh, it's not not that bad, you know, I've been uh, reading books uh, that I've been meaning to read and, you know, just uh, hanging out on my phone, it's really not that bad, I don't see what the big deal is. What's the point of life? What's the point of living? I can't even check my email. <laughs> I can't take it guys, just get me out of here. A second day passes, still no email. On the third day, I'm getting a little worried. So I, I walk into the mailroom and I ask, you know, I'm like, yo dog, where's my package? And they were like, eh, can you see the mountain of packages we have here? F off and let us do our work. You'll get the email. And I was like, 
Okay, my bad, dude. I wasn't trying to, like, front, alright? So I felt bad about it, and I kept waiting, and by this time it was Friday. And this meant that if I didn't get my package today, I would have to wait the entire weekend before I was going to get my computer case. And at this point, I was really worried. So here I am, stuck without a functional computer for five days now. Fast forward, my coworker actually gets an email for a package that he ordered after I ordered my computer case. And so now, I'm pissed. The mailroom just forgot to let me know that my package had actually come in. Anyways, I was stoked. I was gonna have my computer case, I was gonna be able to build my computer, I was gonna have a functional computer by the end of the day. But that didn't exactly pan out. The case that I got, it's called the S340 by NZXT, and hopefully this is the right size so that everything fits together. Wait, how do I open this thing? Cameo. All right, I'm Cameo. Trying, to, trying to get this screw. I'm trying to turn it. I got one of them off, but it's on real good. Yeah. You could even use like a wrench if you had a wrench. See what I mean? Yeah. This fucking. This is. And you don't have a Phillips head that works there? Oh, is it? Or a flathead? Either one works. Oh my god! You're a genius! You mean, I didn't know that. You mean use the thing you're supposed to use on them? I thought these were just hand screws. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, Josh. If you want to talk to me, you can just, you know, say, hey, dude, you don't need to have fake problems that you drag me out of your face. Here's the moment of truth, though. Hey, it fits. It's perfect, right? It's like that. I think. How does this shit work? Does this come with a manual? Maybe we should have just checked everything. Huh? Let's look this up on the internet. Ah, so they have it on the side panel. Oh, you could have it here. Oh shit, you put it here, like this. Well, that's sick. That's pretty cool looking, okay. I'm with it, I'm with it now. God, I don't wanna fuck this up. So, the first thing is we release this, pull this up, and we're gonna put this guy in here. All right, and we're gonna throw this guy on there like so. Boom. All right, and then the next step, we lock it in. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> hmm. Okay, and uh, yeah, we got it in there, no problem. Hell yeah. <laughs> Easy, right guys? Oh god, I hope I didn't f that up. I actually ended up bending the pins on my motherboard, which meant that it wasn't going to recognize any CPU that was in it. At this point, I'm super tilted. I'm trying to figure out how to unbend the pins. I look up YouTube videos, I try to thing with the mechanical pencil, nothing worked. So at this point, I was like, okay, whatever, I am just going to order a new motherboard, get that next day delivery, and I'm going to build the computer again tomorrow. So I go to switch my computer on, and it's running. Everything's running. I look at my monitor, and it's telling me I need to actually get a new power supply. So this time, again, this is, by the way, my fourth time rebuilding this goddamn thing, and I'm building it with the new power supply, and I go to press the on button, the dreaded on button, because if it works, I'm super happy, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to kill myself. And I go, and I press the button, and this time, nothing happens. So I realized that the power supply that I got would just happened to be faulty. <laughs> and by this time, it was Friday, the Friday after I didn't pick up my computer case, by the way. So this, by the way, this is like 10 days without a computer. And so... I can't even get another next day shipment because Newegg only does it during weekdays. And so I ended up having to go into Best Buy, having to find the right power supply and buying it from there. And finally, 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 after all of that, I finally get my computer built together. 
And now I can finally edit it, which is why you are now watching this YouTube video. Anyways, that's my story about how my computer building went completely wrong. I hope you guys like that. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try getting out these videos once a week. I don't know if it'll happen. I hope nothing like this ever happens again. Um, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully see you guys next time.